Yes. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. We are slowly starting a factory that we're... Or factory. Gosh. Been playing certain types of games, you can tell. We're starting a base here in Dwarf Fortress. We'll call it a fortress. Uh, working on tutorial to teach players how to play this game. And we're, generally speaking, doing okay. We have a nice little start. So far, it is going all right. Hoping to be able to continue this and to actually have something that really looks pretty strong here by the time we're done. But uh, for now, we're just going to keep going. So, yeah, let me get going. We'll make this full screen. I'm going to continue. Uh, that's announcements. So, today on the docket, we have to find metal and we're going to set up metal refining. And I think we're going to increase the size of our stockpile. Let's do that first, actually. Okay. Start digging that out. Uh, let's also suspend the tables jobs manually. Uh, that's here. So we're going to suspend that. I think that the auto labor will work here. We're going to build a couple of workshops because we're going to start doing some fancier things. Now, we're going to start working on metal. We have a metal forge shop already, though it's not super important. Now, we don't have coal. We may or may not have any overall. So with that being the case, we're going to need a couple of different things. Let's see. We need... Metal Smith Forge will get our metal. Uh, mechanic Workshop is probably quite important. I thought there was a wood. Dire scope. Uh, gosh. Been too long since I've really gone through this. We're going to also do a Tanner Shop. We have our forge. We're going to build a Asher E, I believe is what it is that I'm thinking. Needs blocks. Aha! And then we need a bucket. So we're going to have to do some of that. The block making. Uh. Let's set up a job for that. New order, block, uh, just a rock block of any kind. Perpetual order is fine. Let's set a condition, add condition. The amount available is at least 30. It should be enough for most of our needs. Okay. So our manager is apparently not doing a great job of managing, which is fine. Uh, so we got a great haul with our food generation. This is good. We may as well build some more tables since we have so many of them. We'll put a little aisle here. I'm just going to put planning mode. Even though I already know I have the tables, I could manually specify them, but we'll put a chair here. Planning mode, similar thing. Give them a absolutely fantastic place to eat. Want this to be legendary. All of Dwarfkind will know. Not that there's much we have here. Okay. Yeah, we're doing okay at getting our bedrooms cleared. Um, I think we're going to also keep digging down. We're going to see if we can find some metal layers. So we're going to go like five layers down so that we have plenty of space to grow. 
and we're just going to dig some exploratory tunnels once we hit that. Um, a couple of other things that we will need. What items do we have here? Yeah. What's the case here? Key woman partial skeleton? What? Key a woman? Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. To each their own, I guess. We do have a butchery. Do we have the job set up here? Uh, butcher dead animal. And we're going to repeat that forever. There's no reason not to, just to automatically butcher whatever dead animals happen to be around. We're not really... You could, like, get fat or something from them, but that's okay. Man, there is a lot of dead creatures all the way around here. I wonder... It's not numbers, it's um view units. We hit a V and you can see we've got a legendary climber in the area, that's interesting. And a stray cat, that's it. Huh. Okay. Well that's alright. How's our digging going? We have not started our exploratory tunnels. We also need to add a job for a bucket. Uh, job, manage, new order, bucket. We'll just say a wooden bucket, sure. One. One bucket's enough. Let's go ahead and get our doors placed. So control R for the macro and then place. Uh, we could place the beds too. Let's go ahead and do that. So control, whoops, bed. I have to hit the planning mode and then hit control P and we'll place the beds. Can't place the beds where we have not dug it out yet, though. So we'll go ahead and let this continue. Fantastic. Keep them dwarves busy. Now let's take a look at the metal. So this will craft the components, but it will not actually smelt stuff so we need that's right you build a it's not a workshop it's a furnace here e so we're going to build a wood furnace and that will get our wood and then a smelter are the two important things so the smelter will smelt the metal into good stuff and the wood will give us basically coal from wood It'll burn wood to create coal. It's more or less what it does. Charcoal. Something we can do today. Looking decent. How is this? I, this is a room, right? You have to find the specific tile I think that it is set to no yeah there we go so there's no owner that's fine eh, I was looking to see if I could figure out how good it was but that's okay um, so we'll let things play for a little bit get our furnaces going so that we can start those tasks It's an architect, that's fine. Someone will get along to architect it. 
and it'll be an absolutely perfectly legitimate architect. Let's go ahead and set our stockpile. Well, we'll let them dig. Finish digging everything out. So we have some seeds. Those go in buckets, which is fine. You can see that we have a farm going. If you hit Q, you can see some of it is being planted, but we have lots of it that cannot grow anything at the moment. This is fine. You only start out with so many seeds, but you don't need a lot. We can get a lot from the surface here. For this size of the base, it would not be a problem to maintain it for some time. And there's enough wood and stuff here. Uh, don't have a lot of items, so we're not going to go chopping trees just to annoy the elves yet. But that's always a fun thing to do. Okay. Let's build the bed. Planning mode is on. So, control P. Eventually, we'll start building other things, but let's let some of this stuff get a little bit better managed. Okay. As soon as we hit this deepest layer, then we're going to dig some exploratory tunnels. In fact, Let's go down to the deepest layer, dig, mine, just, we're gonna sit off a nice exploratory tunnel along here, just to hopefully find some metal. And then we're gonna go up to the top. And to the bottom. So hopefully if there's any metal veins, we'll run into them by doing this and we can start doing that. What do we got here? I don't recognize all of these. Tetrahedrite. I believe that is a metal. So we're going to mine this. Okay. And set the designation back to all. So we'll see what all of this will do. If we get up to here, our workshop level, have these been built yet? No. They'll get there. Our poor little dwarfs, though, are busy. But we have a fine enough workshop. So there's different metals. This actually mimic real life ores. Camera's a little bit off. That's okay. Um. So you have to smelt them and you'll create some kind of a metal. I think, I don't remember what tetrahedrite does. We could Google it, but you know, that's okay. We'll just figure this out by trial and error. Okay. We have the task. Good. So we can mark, make charcoal. Um... We'll just set that for one for the time being, and then we can smelt the tetrahedrite, right? But we don't have any. So we can smelt the tetrahedrite here once we actually have some charcoal. But since we don't have any charcoal, we don't have anything to heat the metal up high enough. So we're gonna go ahead and set a job to um, charcoal make charcoal this will be a perpetual order and it will have the condition set to at least 20 20 should be plenty of charcoal and since we're going to start doing that then we're going to be getting rid of some of our wood let's go ahead and chop a few more trees Elves will love us. Yeah, because we we totally, totally seek to um, please the elves. Now, this red color that you see is actually the leaves that are falling, which is pretty neat. 
Looks like our planting is going all well enough. We're going to put a stockpile here for... Food, but it's not just going to be food. So, let's see here. We're going to change this to only have seeds. So we're going to, let's see here, block all and then only permit seeds. Hit P for permit. All of the seeds will come here and Yeah, that should work. So this will make it so the seeds are a little bit easier to come by. Uh, we do want some barrels for this. Which it has. Good. How's your tetrahedrite mining going? Looking pretty decent. Good. And our exploratory tunnel is finding a lot as well. Excellent. That's what we want to see. So we're going to set a little stockpile, you know, a couple of them, of um, hang on one sec. Okay, got to take care of business first. Gotta love spammers. Anyways, um, we're gonna set up a stockpile for... It's stone, but it's a special kind of stone stockpile. We're gonna set two of these up. We're gonna set one here and we're gonna set one here. And then we're gonna go into the settings and this one is only going to take in actually block all it's not stone that we want disable we want to allow other materials i forget where charcoal is exactly but we'll get there um, no, that's not it. It's additional options. Gosh, I'm doing a horrible job of tutorialing, but this is okay. Other stone, no, economic. Well, this one we know for sure we're going to want to change the settings to be uh, only block all. We're going to allow metal ores permit. This one we would like actually to change it to wood. So any kind of wood will be in there so that way we can smelt it into charcoal. And they both will allow a wheelbarrow. Good. What's tetrahedrites coming here? That's curious. We actually don't want that. So disable, enable, uh, forbid metal ores from that one. We actually don't want clay either. We just want economic and others fine too. Really? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Good. We're still on auto mine, so we're going to go ahead and auto mine the rest of this. 
we'll get some of our lovely, lovely tetrahedrite. So let's check our workshops again. Now, if we go look at this, we can now smelt the tetrahedrite. So we're just going to smelt one just to kind of get a feel for what it does. And then we'll go from there. But actually, there's no reason not to put that as a repeating job. Anytime we have some, we should take advantage of it. Oh, we're getting some masterpieces. Excellent. It's good to see our quality is getting better. So it looks like our animals have all moved. They're just hanging out there. They don't really need to feed for some mysterious reason unknown to any being, but the only ones that need to feed are the big ones. So this will be our custom stockpile. And let's check the settings. It did save our settings, good. like we're doing a good job of chopping some of the trees. Uh, let's chop a couple more just for just to keep the elves happy because we care about the elves happiness totally. We're absolutely not being sarcastic at all because we would never do that. Some things you just don't joke about and elves well-being is one of those. Excuse me. Um, okay, we're looking fine. Now, we could have a stockpile with food, and maybe we'll do that here. But I think we're okay for the time being. That's more of a thing that we'll have to do when we get a few more dwarfs. Okay, this is our mechanics workshop. Um, we're going to make one traction bench and a, well, we'll make one rock mechanism, but we'll set an order to make more. So new job, mechanism, we're just going to say a rock mechanism, perpetual order, and set a condition to have at least 10 of these. These are important to do things like traps and so on and so forth. Speaking of traps, well, do we have any actual, we should have some smelted metal at this point in time. So we can set an order for, let's go with a trap component. Um, Actually, hang on. We'll let that smelting job continue so we know what it will turn itself into. Uh, this stockpile also has stone and this should be, we don't want, we just want economic metals or rocks uh, no we'll permit these as well we don't want chalk or lignite or gypsum in fact we don't want any of these at all we'll forbid and same thing with the other one. We don't want the economic. We actually want the other one. Okay. The reason being is chalk and marble. Those are all useful for other things. And gypsum. Looks like our chickens are relatively happy, which is good. 
we probably will at some point in time set up a auto nesting box for them but we're not there at the moment What's this? Stray dog mingled skeleton. Jeez. There are a lot of things that end up dead here. But that's okay. It'll all work out eventually. What are our dwarves doing over here? Ooh, we have snow. Oh, merchant. Hammer dwarf. Okay. Suit yourselves, I guess. As long as you guys figure out what you're trying to do. Um... Did we figure out what type of metal that was? Nope, we put it away. So you can check your stockpiles to see what's happening. It has varying use of what it may be. Um, so let's look at stone. Chalk. Mega safe is a nice little indicator so you can check to see your entire stockpiles here we can search tab search for uh, metal maybe search for bar I don't know um You can see what kinds of things you're going to be able to cook and whatnot, but let's search for bar. It's all good. Holy cow, look at how many doors we have. We're gonna have to suspend that job now. Uh, suspend. You are suspended job. It's okay. We will need some doors. Let's, since we have them, let's place a few doors. I like the shape of this. And then we're getting all kinds of nice ore veins here. We're gonna have plenty of metal for a while. Billion bars. Cancel task. So you can see there's a lot of different things that you can smelt. Um, yeah. Let's put a new stockpile for the metal bars blocks. Here. And we're going to set this to just. We don't want. Forbid these. Forbid that. We want the metal. We'll take metal blocks if there happens to be any. 
but I think this is all that we want. Does this have charcoal? No. Good. Trucking along. Uh, let's go ahead and put some doors here just for variety since we have so many. remains in here guys who authorized that um Sometimes you gotta look a little bit to figure out. I think that's in refuse, which we should not be allowing in here. Maybe our stockpile on the surface is full. No, it's not. We're gonna change this to take from, no, we'll take it from anywhere. Never mind. Yeah. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out and get it cleared out sooner or later. Besides, those parts, they tend to come in handy eventually. Looks like we're getting a lot of gears, which is excellent. Um, we'll need those for some traps, which we are most definitely going to be setting up here. Traps are extremely effective at defending your base. I think we don't want to go any deeper. You don't want to dig too deep until you at least have some basic military militias and whatnot set up, and we do not, to say the least. But all of this metal will help. The one door that's different than everything else this one it's a nice door everything else is chalk a firelight okay so they just look the same even though they're not at all which is fine look at this all of our blocks are getting cleared up from this floor excellent and they should start to clear out from the floors below as we start to make more and more of toys and whatnot out of those which would be awesome plenty of bedrooms um so we're going to start a job for a, let's see, what's it called, uh, like a dresser, which is chest. Well, we'll add one of the jobs here. Big tip, you can always just add a task and look to see what it is. Um, armor stand, we'll build a couple of those. We're gonna need a cabinet and a coffer. And we'll need a weapon stand as well. Um, but cabinet, you cabinet out of rock because we're dwarfs and then add a coffer not coffin rock coffer 
So we're gonna just have the condition to have at least one. For both of those. They'll probably have more than that, but that's okay. So that will get tacked on to our list eventually. Still don't really have any idling dwarfs, which is fine. Suppose what we'll do is set up an inn or something like that sooner or later. But I don't think we're gonna do that. Ikea has stolen a spiked steel ball. What? Oh no. Hmm. I don't think we really have much in here. Okay, it's all good. Uh, anyways, we seem to have plenty of wood for a while. We're not even taking it in, which is fine. Our planting is slowing down, but it should still be continuing. We still have all of the makings to have a decent little farm going. We have remains in here for some reason. These dwarfs are crazy. Could we carry? They'll figure it out. Our smelting operation's going okay. Let's... Should be making charcoal. Good. Pretty soon we'll need another block of workshops, but we don't really have that many dwarfs yet. So we're going to hold off. Let's go ahead and set up our coffers and our um, cabinets. For the dwarfs. Uh, planning mode is on. We'll put the cabinet here. So we our, our macro is still set up from before, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just control P. And then we'll set up our container, which is H key. Same thing, control P. And this is all the dwarfs we needed planning mode. This is all the dwarfs really need to be happy. They just want a place to put their stuff in a room. They don't care about anything else in a bed. You know, as long as they got a door, they're happy. Uh, did we make these into rooms? No. So this one is... We're going to control R, R, enter, up, up, control R. That will macro create these into bedrooms. Excellent. Great hall is looking fantastic. You don't need a great hall that big, but they're kind of fun to have fancy. of metal is this? Okay, quartzite. That sounds like it would be fun to make some toys and stuff out of. Uh, designate mine. We're still on the auto mine, so we're going to select all of that. And it will just min it away. Let's go ahead and mine these gems. <gasps> nope. Okay. You gotta be a little bit careful. It's really easy to do that. 
But since it pauses when you set those designations, it's very easy to fix it too. As long as you do it sooner, you can build walls that can replace them, but they just never look the same as that natural stone feeling. So you, you, dwarfs, they'd like that stone feeling. Um, still no idlers. What are all our guys doing? Storing stuff in stockpile? Constructing buildings or a bunch of them are suspended? Yeah, okay. There's not a ton of things to do, but there is a few things. It's mostly the workshop jobs. Do we have anybody who's trying to smelt? The expedition leader is bored. Which is fine. Why? I thought I had this on a repeat. Yeah, that's okay. Live and learn. We'll get this all figured out here sooner or later. Look at these lovely, lovely mind shapes. Now there's three caverns and the deeper the cavern, the more likely it is to be dangerous, but they're not super likely to be dangerous. The first one, especially, although I think the last time I streamed this, then we died because of trying to get greedy too quickly. So you want to be a little bit careful. Um, I would really, really love for this to be finished. Be suspended. Yeah. Let's unspend those. Maybe we can get the fortifications actually built. It would be really nice to not have a big gaping hole. Excellent, we have bar stockpile number 10. Oh, we have a bin in there. <laughs> uh, we don't have anything in the bin. We just have an empty bin. Lovely. Still no idlers. We're getting our construction going though this looks good uh we missed what was this cabinet so build uh cabinet is f we're gonna have planning mode so that will take care of that good Actually, that cabinet. Why? Material cabinet. What we actually wanted was a coffer. Hang on. Building QX X. I don't know how that happened. So, build coffer is container here, H. Planning mode is now on. So we're gonna control a macro, control R, enter, up, up, control R. That should place all of those coffers. These are all containers as well. Huh. I probably should set up a macro for that, but that's okay. So 
build. And we're going to go to the container, which is F. H. There we go. Get in the right spot and can hit control P. And now we'll have containers in addition to our cabinets. Excellent. That could have been bad. How's our stockpiles look? Uh, looks like we have a bunch of wheelbarrows. Still have a lot of doors. We have a lot of gears. Which is probably too many, but that's okay. We're going to build a lot of traps. Traps are really, really helpful. Okay, these Kia things are starting to become annoying. Let's, um, let's look at the animals that are in the area and see if we can take care of some of these a little bit and reduce them. Unit list. There we go. So if you look at the unit list, you can hit others and you can see people who are dead missing too. Kias. So they're all looking good. can see we have a lot of interesting stuff. We have merchant caged animals. Why are the merchants not able to leave? Why are they here? Huh. I don't know why they're hanging out here, but that's fine. So these Kias are stealing some of the stuff from the merchants, which is fine. The merchants just start deciding to hang around for some unknown reason. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Has me worried though. If the dwarfs don't come back from a mission here, then it looks really bad for us. There are no merchants trading right now. What if I just deconstruct this? And then we'll build another one as soon as we can. Did these jobs ever get put back? We're still waiting for construction. Okay, good. We want to get our fortifications going. Uh, let's go ahead and build a... Kind of funny you want a bridge i don't think it's a wall oh you want a ramp not ramp you 
it is a bridge that you want to be able to set because you can raise and lower bridges so you can move this up like this and we don't want this out of chalk let's make it out of something a little bit stronger actually we don't want this we want it to be a little bit bigger up up three by three is probably a good size this will allow us in I'm gonna put it right here it won't maybe technically be the best but uh, it'll work. And you can raise and lower the bridge, which is quite helpful. It's like a drawbridge or a door or something like that. We'll put another one out there. Actually, if we're going to put one, let's... Hang on. Sorry, I'm changing my mind so much. Build bridge. UUKK, put it right here, and then we'll put it out of nice. And then eventually we'll set an opening and closing mechanism that will allow us to uh, properly manage it. So it looks like we are in fact using this again. Good. have another bin. How lovely. Yeah, we'll just leave it up. It'll be fine. Maybe they got attacked or something like that. I don't know. It is a little bit worrisome. These things sometimes happen with Door Fortress, so yeah. I'm totally, totally sure it will not come back to haunt us that we've been ignoring this. Not at all. Okay, they suspended the nice, nice bridge. Why did you guys suspend the job? The bureaucracy of approving the building sometimes is a little bit annoying. You have to have an architect come by, and then you have to have, you know, so on and so forth until it gets to be quite exhaustive. So let's check our items. Actually, PT. Copper. So you can see what we're actually making is copper, which is excellent. Um, we can add a task to create. Let's go first of all with an a copper pick. We're going to build another couple of these so that way we can do some more digging. That's first order of business. Second order of business is we need to build some tools. So let's add a new job for copper. Um... Copper doesn't make a particularly great weapons, but we're gonna do the best that we can with it. We're gonna go with something blunt, like a mace or a warhammer. Warhammer sounds fun. Uh, let's make 10 of those. Okay. 
I suppose we could build a couple more axes too. Uh, copper actually makes really good bolts. So we're going to add another job. Uh, copper bolts. We're going to have a hundred of those made. And then we want a cross. Uh, we can make a copper. We can make a bone crossbow. I don't think copper is the right material for that. No, we'll go with 10. So we'll be able to have a squad that can go through and, and deal with those. We'll also want to forge bone bolts. Bone bolts make really good training bolts. Um, we'll put an order of 50 of those. So that way we can start training up our military. Very important to do, even though we're still pretty tiny. It's not that likely that anyone will come and attack us yet. But we have everything that we absolutely have to have. And this will also be good for hunting. We also want to forge... Uh, cage. We'll make a copper cage. We'll make, I don't know, 10 of these. That sounds good. And then we can place some traps. So build traps. Uh, let's go. Not animal traps, we want to build a cage. Actually, we want a trap lever. We want a cage trap. So we're gonna put this in planning mode. We're gonna put a couple of these. Uh. We'll put a couple out here in advance that will help to cage some stuff. I think technically you can put, you don't have to have a path, but we're gonna do things that way anyways. Cause otherwise it's a little bit too cheaty. Cage traps are extremely powerful. And that should be enough. We'll catch some stuff with this, and this will be fun. Maybe we'll catch these Kias that have been menacing us for a while. Excellent, we're getting it. Porch, this is so exciting. Still not a lot of idlers. Looks like our tunnels are looking pretty decent. Um, we may want to dig that out a little bit more. Still looks pretty decent for the wood. So all of these gears that have been developing, those will all go into our traps, which will be nice. Become a wood burner. An elven caravan has arrived. Oh, huh. Well, we'll probably trade with these guys. Just, you know, 
pity them some. Um, let's search for our toys. Uh, let's search for finished goods. Bins, which we have a couple of those. We could just take the bins, actually. We're going to do that. And then the toys. Uh, we're going to hold off because I think those are probably in bins. search real quick here what we have that we may want to offer up to them drinks we have no seeds no they probably would like that maybe we'll offer them some nice lovely wood i'm sure they'll totally go for that chalk blocks interesting uh we do have a rather large number of wheelbarrows let's give them a couple Have some barrels, which is fine. Quivers, yeah, this will do. Give the dwarfs a little while to bring some stuff up. And then we'll call in our trader. Request the trader. Your presence is requested. So we're going to hang on, trade. So you can search for toys and then just hit shift enter. So that will mark all of those. And then you can keep the bins, which can be more valuable. Um, Puzzle block sounds like a fun thing to give them. And then uh, we'll give them a couple of our wheelbarrows. So what do we want in return for all of this? Um, we have a lot of this grown wood. Not so fun stuff. Uh, we'll take some of their food though. really don't have a lot that we're interested in. A splint, sure. I'm not gonna take any of these wooden spears. Like, who, who uses wood for something like that? I mean, come on. Uh, their food though is good. So we're giving them way too much value. We'll take these wheelbarrows back and they're still earning a ton. So we'll take off some of these toys. We definitely don't want to give the elves too good of a deal here. want them to be a little bit annoyed with us. Do they have anything else that we want? Crutches, sure. It's just the food. They have clothing and they have cages which we're not going to 
Do they have the horse, which could be kind of interesting? A black bear, a cougar, yeah, no. Some buckets, barrels. Yeah, that's about it. Let's try offer. No, we don't want to offer. We want to trade. Um, sure. Okay. So we're going to remove everything. Whoops, I did not want to. We accidentally selected all of the things to be brought here, which we do not want to do. It's a little bit trigger happy. this cleaned up. Sorry about this. Um, okay. And charcoal, we don't want that. Good. So that should start to clear things. We can take our trader away. And pretty soon we'll be back to business. Now, how's this looking, these fortifications? Inactive, both of them. It's okay, but not great. So we don't have rocks, really. Huh. Okay, well, in that case, let's dig out. A couple more areas for workshops. And then we'll put these here. Good. Let them dig into some rocks so that way we have something. Um, we can make this a little bit bigger too. That should do. No ammunition for the hunt, which is interesting, but that's all right. Yeah, we're making our our orders. We have the order to make crossbows and bolts and stuff like that. So that'll be fine. We'll get there. You can see they're already taking advantage of the new rock to go ahead and make some of these extra things. I think it's because we have so many doors and tables and stuff like that, chairs, that we don't really need that many of so early. I mean, it's kind of nice to have, I suppose, but 
yeah. There happens to be a lot of wood here. Looks like it's still got some orders coming in here for some reason. Okay, come down. All of our thrones are here, which is kind of nice actually, but they don't have anything these elves, they just have garbage for us. good. I wish there was a way to just deselect everything. There must be. Pending on top. gets rid of all of the pending. Good. Well, that was a mess, but that's okay. Silly elves. It's nice to see that our stone blocks are going somewhere real quick though. They must not have a supply of the right rock to bring into here that quickly, which is fine. Um, so we have a barrel here now doesn't seem to have much in it, which is fine. We'll go ahead and dig out another farming plot to get started with something else. We'll do one that will cook a little bit more probably than just plump helmets. Plump helmets are good, but you know, there's other stuff that's good too. Furniture is looking very good. It is actually nice to have all of the rock cleared away. Stole a large trillion cut emerald. Huh. These Kias are getting to be annoying. Well, when we have some traps though, they'll we'll we'll see what they end up doing. We'll put them in cages or something. I remember seeing a run of this where they set up traps like this at the South Pole and they caught a bunch of yetis and put them on display in their great room. It was great fun. Okay, we're looking fine. Um, let's... Go down one more level and we'll dig some more exploratory tunnels. Uh, we'll dig 
two more levels. We still are okay. I'm going to build slightly wider exploratory tunnels too. Because we want to... We want to dig out stuff. Good, we're starting to get a fair bit of copper, which is excellent. You really want to get the metal going early and often. It really doesn't take a huge amount of economic prowess to uh, really achieve something in this game. Unsuspend it. Love how when the elves are here, we chop down some trees just to, you know, make them fill up palm. Because their trees don't look like our trees, so we, we don't want to show them our trees. Love how you can just go up and see the different layers of the trees. If you dig underneath them, you can actually find roots sometimes, which is fun. Okay, we got some more workshops. So build workshop. Um, loom. Sure. Clothier workshop. Sure. Boyer's workshop. We have a carpenter. A jeweler workshop would not be bad either. Whoops. You kind of want to have one of all of the different shops fairly soon. Siege Workshop is a different animal and we're not going to build one of those. Farmer's Workshop, um, not super useful, but it can be kind of nice. A fishery, we're not going to build one of those. Ashery will need the bucket for. Dyer's Shop, not super interested. Soapmaker's Shop can be good. Uh, we do have a bucket. Okay. We'll add a bucket. Actually, cancel, add buckler, wooden barrel. Buckets seem to be a wise thing to make out of, uh, out of wood. A rock bucket could be pretty heavy. Metal buckets would be okay, but I don't think a rock bucket would work very well, even for a dwarf. You never know. Somebody has the fanciest bedroom that has both a coffer and a cabinet and a bed in it. You know, they'll all have fun sooner or later. We're already doing a really good job of getting all these blocks cleared out that we just dug out. Wow. Uh, this being the case... I think we're going to dig ourselves an inn. Do we want to have it be kind of part of the Great Hall? And I think the answer is yes, we do. So we're going to big a dil <laughs> we're going to big. We're going to dig a tunnel here that will allow us to start um, building an inn. So an inn needs to have kind of an opening room. It 
And then they have some bedrooms that are associated with that. And the bedrooms, we're gonna have these be four by one. Uh, we'll have it go through a little hallway here. Mm, we'll have the room to go this big. So let's see here. We're going to control R. Okay. Place a couple of these. And then control R. Okay. Excellent. Those should do quite nicely. I think we're gonna need some mugs too. So we're dwarfs, so we're gonna make some rock mugs. Q mug. Enter zero, and we're gonna set this to be a conditional. We want, actually, 30 mugs. That seems like a good number. And then once you have an inn set up, then you can have guests that'll come to do scholarly research or to be adventurers, to go fight off monsters, which can be fun. Yeah, we're getting a lot of rock found, which is excellent. We need to deal with some of this rock. Uh, a lot of chalk. What's this? Is this more of the tetrahedrite? Okay, that's just the gem cluster. That's fine. Chickens seem to like to hang out at the table, which is... Why not? Gotta let them have their fun. I haven't started digging this. This is interesting, but we have no idlers to speak of. Remember the beginning of the game when there were idlers. That only happens until you start... Once you have enough digging, once you have workshops... Idlers become a lot harder to find. Good, good, good. Now I think we're going to set up a library on the other side and maybe even a, we'll set up a temple down below. Libraries and temples, they're kind of boring. Um, we'll just have it be a block. have two separate doors just to be a little bit fancier Ooh, what have we here some kind of gem yeah I think we may just leave that in you know some of the rooms will be a little bit fancy no these are not dwarf rooms They don't get to have gems built in. Let's 
Excuse me. And then we'll build doors here to section this off a little bit. So, let's see here. No, we're not going to want to do this. We want to do... I think we're going to set some tables in here and then have this be the end. So build tables. some more tables that are like that. Yeah, this is actually going to work out quite nicely. Okay. So let the tables and chairs that we have that are surplus get set up and then we should be able to make this into an inn I believe grand dining room everything else is just meager quarters so once we sand things then they'll seem a little bit better notes designation no not designation um you can look at the civilization in the area which can be fun locations though i believe is what we're wanting to do Well, we'll wait for some of the buildings to be done before we do that, but we're doing fine. Getting some of that stone hauled out, that'll be good. Keep okay, build wall, um, which is capital C, wall. some blocks because blocks are better and then oh, another wall that's just one unit and a wall that's here but we're still digging stuff so that's fine now that that's cleared away though we're gonna start to get the bedrooms assigned some more walls going yeah so then look at our doors place we're gonna do control R enter up up okay get all those placed beautiful and then control P here as well Beds. 
Control P will also work to place the beds. I don't think we're going to leave anything else in here for the time being, but this should do. A lot of stuff going on, though. A lot, a lot of stuff. Do we want a militia commander? Sure. The cook. Sure. The cook is going to be... Uh, we will not have a sheriff, though, for the time being. Sheriff, you'd have to have a fancier office and stuff like that. and I just don't want to mess with that yet. We're going to smooth the bedrooms. Something you want to do eventually. Normally I wait until we have idlers, but we don't have that yet. But I do want to get it figured out for the moment. Masterpiece chalk throne. I don't know that I want to be building with those. Can we... Um, well, whatever. It's all good. We have a lot of chalk. We can always change things if we need to. We did get rid of the economic. Yeah, that's fine. So they're hauling stone here as quickly as they can. We do have a wheelbarrow, theoretically. Good. Let's check on the suspension of jobs. There's nothing. Um, Okay. Let's go ahead and gather some more plants. Hmm. Not as many plants to gather as I would assume. Okay, what's this redstone? Oh, there's some blood on it. Interesting. Meh, yeah, that's fine. So we're starting to see some of the traps set up, which is excellent. And you can see even our animals are walking across it without too many problems. So maybe we'll, nah, we'll still do it like we've got it. It's now summer. Wow, the time moves. Looks like we need one more table. Make this table just a little bit longer. I watched uh, Lord of the Rings in preparation to make me feel in that dwarfy kind of mood. Dwarfs are fun people. Okay. 
lot of metal here as well. Good. Looks like... Wait, is this a bed? Huh? Okay. We're gonna... <sighs> cancel, 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 cancel. So that's a table. Build table. I don't know how that switched into a bed, but eh, these things happen. It's door fortress. Yeah, I know we said in, but the kind of point is to have the beds in the back, not in the front. Although you could have a great room. A lot of inns did. Don't want to be a throne room or a study. The table has the option of the dining room. Oh, there's a building there. Never mind. How do our stockpiles look? So if we hit um, V, not V. There's too many things. Reports. You can see some of the recent stuff. Looks like we've been doing some hunting. A little bit of fighting. Nothing too terrible. That's good to know. But what we actually want is status Z. So you can see here, if we look at this, some of the amount of stuff that we have. We have... No meat, no plants. We have a lot of 100 seed-ish, 200 drink-ish, 400 other, some plants. But um, I think we have a fair bit of cooked food, but not a lot of other stuff. So let's search here for meals. Kia meat stew. Fine. Easy. Yeah. I think we're running low on food, which is a problem. Let's go ahead and build a second plot here. Yeah, this will do. So they're actually going to have to come by and build it, but this will be fine. They'll get to it pretty quickly. It doesn't actually take any resources to build it. It just, they got to come do it. In the meanwhile, we're going to designate all sorts of plant gathering. Let's just get all of the plants actually. There we go. That looks like we'll have a lot of food. It's going to take a lot of busy work to get it to happen, but that's okay. That's what dwarfs are for. Really don't have that many dwarfs, which is kind of surprising. 
They usually come spilling in pretty regularly. I'm sure we'll get some more soon. Uh, the dwarfs aren't that happy, which may have something to do with it, but it shouldn't matter that much. Is this actually smooth? This doesn't look smooth. A few now. Yeah, it's designated smooth. You just can't see the job. Okay. We need more dwarfs. tables yet. That's unfortunate. Oh well. They'll get there. Must have a lot of chairs in the good old stockpile. Uh, yeah, we do have a fair number of those. We still have big enough stockpile though. I'm not going to actually expand it. We just did the digging to make it so that we can easily expand it when we need to. Started raining, huh? We're going to build an armor stand outside here. We have a couple of them, but this armor stand will allow us to do training exercises for our militia. Let's Go ahead and create a squad. Um, Archer. And then... We'll just put everybody in for the time being. So they all have gear. We're not actually going to train them though because we just don't have enough dwarfs to spare that kind of manpower at the moment. But if we ever needed to, we could call them up. We're hoping by of security by obscurity at this point in time. Not the best long-term strategy, but it does work for a while. Now, whenever we get some more dwarfs, we will want to be training that up quite a bit. Boy, still have that bed going. It's funny because I would much rather it be in one of the rooms, but no such luck. We'll get a door placed here as well. Actually, we can't do that yet. That's fine. Because the wall still needs to be built. Taking some gems? That's curious. We do have... Soap making, farming, workshop. Yeah, we got a lot, a lot of jobs that are just being suspended because we can't really do them. Hopefully if there's a problem though, our traps will protect us. That's the goal. It's 
these kids that are so annoying, though. Okay, so I think we're going to call this one... Uh, well, hang on. Let's get this set up. So we're going to do a different rotation here. So A... We'll do sweet pods. B will be cave wheat. Then we'll do pigtails. And D will be plump helmets. Which we don't seem to have any seeds. I think you have the seeds if you're actually cooking with them. Is how it works. So we probably have some plump helmets somewhere. Um... Let's build a little stockpile. Dig these out a little bit more. So we'll put some stockpiles both to help make the drinks and also to store them. And the same thing with the food. Uh, except for the symmetry will really bother me. Uh, Let's go ahead and build a door in there. Yeah, and then clear that out. That's fine. That'll look good. Ship it. What is this guy up to? We've suspended the table and door manually because we had so many of them. I'm going to unsuspend them. Cabinets are being made. We do not seem to have an excess. Okay, good. We have the tanners. We're going to tan hide. If we have any, which we don't. So that's fine. We could probably set up a perpetual job to do so, but meh, who cares? Oh, we got a baby girl. How sweet. So we have our first little dwarf kid. Guess some of the doors are getting delivered, but not that many of those. Yeah, we're just so, so busy. What's this? Is that the armor stand? Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep it around. They, uh are needed for some of the more advanced nobles that we'll at some point in time get. Although as I understand it, nobles have changed quite a bit since I last really played. Oh, excuse me. No, we're definitely not running out of stone. Have we smoothed any of these bedrooms yet? No. We have miasma in here. Why?
What's this? Uh, it's this red thing, which is snow. Huh. I'm sure that the kitchens, kitchens don't produce miasma in and of themselves. Well, we do have our refuse stockpile, so we got some miasma coming out of the butchery, which is to be expected, to be honest. Can I force this? I don't know, I think we just need to get on our jobs a little bit more so that way the miasma doesn't become a thing. We need more dwarves. It's not easy to have a fortress going with this few people. do actually is view what's inside the building. So we can hit T. We can see there's a lot of food here. Aha! We have the rotten dump. We got rotten food here. We got a lot of rotten food. Holy moly. Did not know that was so much of a thing? I wonder if there's anything that could be done. Well, we've got our rotten food to be dumped. Um, let's... See if we can put rotten stuff in here. Um, you prepared food? No. So refuse should be. It doesn't have rotten food. Yeah, rotten raw hide. Uh, item zone will put so let's add another stockpile here for refuse R we're gonna make it bigger That'll also correspond with our dump. Let's we'll see if that helps anything. And then check this building out. We have rotten deer tripe. So dump that. Dump this. Okay. Once we get clear of that, then we should be good to go. I think that's what our problem is. Okay. So I think we're done for the time being. Thank you guys so much for sticking through this and for everything that you guys do. I will continue tomorrow at approximately the same time. Thanks guys for everything. And until next time, keep on tracking. Take care.